This is what you see when you first log in to social tables. It's kind of like an event dashboard. We have a couple of different views. So this is just a way for your team to stay as organized as possible before they actually begin planning an event. So let's say you receive an RFP. You can filter these events um, a couple of different ways by the owner, so other people on your team. Um, and you can also do it by date. Now, if you search for different types of event, they will come up. For example, if, if New Year's Eve is an annual event, we can come in here, we can easily clone that event, and it instantly recreates it. So it's just a big time saver for your team. You're not totally starting from scratch. Now, for the sake of the demonstration, we will start from scratch. We're just going to click that pink button. We're going to come in here, type in the event name. So we'll just call this Will's first event. Now, picture this as um, client facing. Right, so we're going to add the date then very quickly here. All basic event information, the start time, the end time. Let me click next. Now we have the event type. So again, just a way for your team to stay as organized as possible when starting to plan the event from scratch. We'll call this a catered meal. And then the industry, a sub-level of categorization. Again, so you guys can stay as organized as possible. And here's your event. So what we're going to do is come in and add a diagram. So. What you'll see here, this is a totally customized venue library, so we will actually draw your floor spaces perfectly to scale. Again, when you think about setting expectations for your client, that is extra important. Would you agree? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, yeah, I think that's definitely important for us. Okay, great. So what we'll do, we'll click into the venue once we draw that out for you. And here, for example, we'll have an empty floor plan. What's great, though, is once you start building your account, you can have a number of different templates here. For example, you can have a max set for you know, a catered style meal. You can have, you know, a semi-max set for, you know, a theater style seating. So it's very easy just to save time and get diagrams out to clients as quickly as possible. So anytime that I go into that individual floor and that individual room, I can have a max set already created for my staff to, to auto-populate an event? Correct. And that's sort of the whole point. We don't want you reinventing the wheel for every diagram that you plan. Now, no two events are exactly the same. So you can make the slight customizations and edits that you need to on an individual client basis, but generally speaking, that saves a ton of time. So here we are, you can see the level of detail that goes into the architectural renderings. For example, these squares here, those are pillars that we can't actually manipulate. They are stuck in place. Now, as far as diagramming actually goes, we're going to come up here to our objects. You can see they're organized by different categories. We can search for objects, which saves a ton of time. What saves even more time are these favorites. So you can have favorites here. For example, this stage with a couple of, a couple of front-facing projectors, each nine feet from the stage, and a podium centered. Instead of dragging out multiple pieces of furniture, you can see that's just a big time saver. Then, of course, we have these templates as well. Based off the style of event, it's totally customizable. But with our mouse, we are simply going to drag and we're going to drop. Now we can customize this group all at once, but we can also ungroup these tables we can actually edit them individually as well. Now, going back to the point I made previously about keeping your team on the same page and streamlining communication and how that ties back into your client is being able to share this event. So instead of saving PDFs, sending them out, having a client mark them up, having to communicate that to your operations team, we can just click share right here. Now we can type in as many email addresses as we'd like that being clients, maybe it's your catering and banquets team, maybe it's an outsourced audiovisual team. Any person involved in planning the event, this can be sent to. We can give editing privileges. We can also give view only access. We can even obtain a public link. Each diagram in social tables has its own unique web link. Now, with that link, it will open a brand new window on anybody's screen from a remote location. So everybody sees the updates in social tables in real time as you make changes. Is that helpful? Yeah, so the public link, um, so I can copy that and maybe drop that into an email with a price quote for a particular event? Absolutely. We even have a number of hotels specifically who will paste that link into other systems, whether it be um, for their BEOs or a point of sale system. So from that other system, when they click that link, the diagram associated with the event then opens. Got it. Now, if you come down here, like I was telling you before, we can add a couple of different diagrams. For example, if you have an event Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, and then Sunday, and all totally different setups, how do you keep your operations team kind of in the know about what gets set up? It's very easy with social tables. We can click this plus button, and we can add another diagram. Right? Now, once we do that, 
you'll see here we can add this max set. Like I was telling you, we can add you know, the 640 rounds based off what can fit in your space. But now when you look here, we have an event for potentially, like I said, Friday night, and then the Saturday night setup. So your operations team knows exactly what to change from event per event. It can also be used as a sales tool, being able to show a client, look, here's one option you know, with 640 rounds. Here's another option with the dance floor in the middle as opposed to you know, on the side, for example. So, Will, do me a favor and tell me a little bit about the site visits you have set up for your clients. Yeah, so they, they vary. Um, but what we, I guess, are finding more and more is that it, they're, they're becoming more frequent. So we're being asked to do more and more on a monthly basis. Okay, great. So with social tables, we've learned that 56% of site visits convert to a sale. So they're definitely a positive thing for you to utilize. Now, what can make them better besides just having you know, good salespeople is being able to customize those site visits to separate your property from others in the marketplace. So the way we do that, we can render this diagram in a three-dimensional image. So here you can see the event actually comes to life. Now, how often do you have a site visit set up? Let's say you're pitching a potential corporate style event, but the room the day of the site visit is set up for a wedding later that day. Does that happen often? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think in a perfect world, we, we've got an event uh, in, in our biggest rooms every night. But yeah, it's it's not typically the same type of event. So yeah, this looks this looks great. Perfect. So that's exactly how our successful customers utilize this 3D tool is on a site visit, being able to you know customize that. And instead of relying on your client's you know, imagination to picture the room, how it will be on the night of their event, to actually bring the event to life. Now. Before you know it, your client will ask you to change the linen colors to move this table around to you know, move the stage. And you can do that in real time right in front of their eyes. So they ask to make these tables you know, green, you can go in and you can do that and the event instantly comes to life. Yeah, that's great. Now another nice thing about this is being cloud-based and the fact that we can share this with our customers once they leave a site visit. It's a great way to keep them engaged so your customer can virtually tour your site you know, as often as they want once that site visit is over. Is that helpful, do you think? Yeah, definitely. And so just, just confirming, so if I send that public link to my client in, let's say, in an email, uh, they can actually pull that up and they can render it in, in 3D as well? Yes, sir. That's awesome. So has this all been pretty helpful for you, Will? Do you see yourself being able to utilize this tool to, like I said, save time, work more efficiently, but also booking more business, using it as a sales tool? Yeah, absolutely. I think this is, uh, this is something that will definitely uh, increase the, the efficiency of the workflows for all everybody on my team. Well, Will, it was a pleasure talking with you. I look forward to getting you started with Social Tables. I'm really excited for what's to come with you and the team. Yeah, we're excited too.